Cheers, applause, and hope filled the Geary County Convention Center. My name is Jim Stan. I'm a big red one soldier. Legislators, community leaders, and even residents pleaded their case to U.S. Army officials, all with one mission in mind, to keep the soldiers at Fort Riley. Ever optimistic and fighting, and that's what we're doing here. We are one, the big red one. Thank you. Fort Riley is one. One of 30 installations in the country facing downsizing. Fort Riley is not just an economic uh, stimulus, it's part of our family. And so, in essence, they're trying to, they're trying to take part of our family away. Aaron Oppel is the president of the Aggieville Business Association. And though these reductions might impact his relationships with his Fort Riley friends, he is also concerned how the city of Manhattan will be impacted. All economic activity in this, this region would be dramatically affected. It's, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Apple's not the only one that feels this way. I hate to use the word devastating, uh, but it would be a, a terrible economic impact on the region. Kansas leaders are confident, however, in the importance of Fort Riley. This place has significant investment in capital, in housing, in health care, uh, and in education. And the attendance shows how important the Big Red One is to the community. When you look around and see everybody is here, this shows the support that we do have for Fort Riley.